Hello, today we will be solving this problem called apple division. So there are n apples with known weights and our task is to divide the apples into two groups so that the difference between the weights of the groups is minimal. And we are given an example here, n is equal to 5. So then there are 5 apples and the optimal uh, assignment to groups gives us a difference of 1 and this can be achieved by assigning apples 3, 2 and 4 to group 1 and that way group 1 has total weight 9 and then assigning apples 7 and 1 to group 2 so group 2 would have a total weight of 8 and the difference would be just 1 so let's copy this example and try to come up with a solution but first let's take a look at the constraints n here is small n is, uh, is, is less than or equal to 20 which may give us ideas of uh, exponents, exponential solutions and uh, the, the weights of the apples can be as large as 10 to the 9 so let's paste our example here. So what basically what we need to do is to find uh, an ideal assignments to groups A and B. So let's just take an example. For example, we will assign this first day to A and this last two to B. So the assignment would look something like this. We could also have another assignment, let's say we can assign every odd apple to A and the even ones to B, so it would be something like A, B, A, B, A. Or, or we could assign the first two to A, the last three to B, so it would be something like A, A, B, B, B. And here, if we notice, these strings only contain two characters which are a and b and this is reminiscent of binary strings which also only contain two characters zero and one so instead of writing zero and one we could say that a is zero and b is one so this string becomes zero 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 one one this one becomes zero one zero one zero. This one becomes zero zero one one one. So basically, any assignments to groups A and B can be represented as a binary string of length five. And as we saw in previous problems, there are exactly two to the five such strings. I think it is obvious to say to see that there is a bijection between the assignments and binary strings of length 5. So basically you can take any assignment you want and I can always convert it to a string of this form and I can also give you any string of this, like of this form, say 11010, and you could interpret this as an assignment, meaning that you will assign this to B, B, A, B, A. So there is what we call a bijection. This means that in order to explore all possible assignments or to brute force all possible ways, we would just have to go through uh, all possible binary strings from from 0 to 2 to the n minus 1. And this is known as bit masking. This is a very uh, frequent technique that is used to 
express assignments or to actually express uh, some kind of filter that we apply to a certain array as a binary string and this actual string is called a bit mask so if we apply this bit mask to this uh, with one being the value that we keep we only gonna keep four and one and this will give us the elements in b and if we apply it again with zero being the value that we keep and one being the the values that we take away then we're gonna get the first three elements so the idea this idea of a mask uh, stems from the fact that we take some and we leave some and here since n is only is less than or equal to 20 uh, then all the strings that are that will be generated are up to 2 to the 20 which is equal to 1 million and some so this is good because it is within our time limit but this is not actually our total complexity because each time so basically we, each time we will go through a string we will go so we'll have this loop so we will have this loop from 0 to 2 to the n minus 1 which will take this number of iterations and inside this loop we will have a 4 from 0 to n because for each character or for each bit in this number we need to check whether it is a 0 so we know to add this weight to group A or whether it is a 1 so we know to add that way to group B so we need to uh, have this other loop inside to assign weights to uh, W A or W B and each time we do this we will update the minimum of the absolute value of W A minus W B that is to say that our total complexity would be n times 2 to the n which is gonna be almost 20 million or which is less than 10 to the 8 so we will be fine it will run under a second so this is it for the explanation i hope i made the idea clear and uh, don't worry we'll, we'll uh, come up with a lot of uh, different other problems that use this same idea of bit masking now it's time to code this solution okay let's take a look at the code so we're gonna start by reading our input this is the length of the array and let's input the weights of each apple we're gonna declare a vector of uh, ints and we're gonna input uh, our weights then let's declare our variable answer and initialize it with a very large value so basically each time we'll update this value answer so it becomes less than what it was and then as we said we're gonna go through all the masks from 0 to 2 to the n so basically each mask here represents a partition of the elements into two groups a and b next we will declare two sums sum a and sum b and basically sum a will be equal to the to the sum of elements where the mask is turned on and sum b will be equal to the sum of elements where the mask is turned off so to go through the mask we will need another for loop 
so we'll go from position 0 to position n and each time we will check if the mask is on at that position that is that mask and one shifted by position is different from 0 then we're gonna increment sum a by the weight at that position and we'll do the same thing if the mask is off at that position in that case we will increment sum b and once we are done with this mask we will need to update our answer with the absolute value of the difference here we are using the absolute value because we don't know whether sum a will be larger than sum b or the opposite so we just use abs here to um, avoid uh, dealing with special cases and lastly after going to all the mask we will just print the answer we got so that's pretty much it let's compile our code and let's submit it so that works thank you for watching see you in the next video Bye-bye.